We're online. If you have questions for us, you can tweet your questions online. And it is at Watch Me Work, SLP, hashtag Good Play. And Carol, I'm going to repeat that for us. So we really good. Let's stick it. Twitter handle is at Watch Me Work, SLP, with the hashtag New Play. Yeah, I better be, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to work for 20 minutes, and then we're going to... <laughs> I got mine sitting there. This one might be a little different from yours. Right? So this, you know, it's not on the atomic clock.
we're uh, so that was the uh, so that was the action part of the play, and now we're going to do the dialogue part. So if you have any questions about your work or your creative process or the creative process, ask away. Well, I would care my tech writer. Anybody have any? Addressing uh, rewrites, yes. I, I often have uh, difficulty letting the structure sort of emerge. Right. Uh, trying to still be a servant to the characters. Right. Uh, I guess my question is: Is it my purpose to then implement? A structure, or am I really trying to hear their voices just more clearly this time around? Right. I know that's that's good. Knowing of course, what's your name? Mark. Mark. Have you been here before? I have not. No. Okay, good. So hey, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> but um, yeah, Mark has a really good question. So it, and it's interesting because you are um, is your is your um, paraphrase? Let me see if I heard you right correctly. Is your job to Hear the characters, or to implement some kind of structure. The second time around. With the, the second time yeah. around. Sure, sure. Well, what did you feel like your job was the first time? To hear. To hear. Yeah. I would go out on a limb and say maybe that's always your job. Got it. But, but you want to maybe be more, you know, be more specific. Hear their story. What do you want? What are you doing? You know, that's 
stru those are structural to related questions, you know? Um, and those are always good questions to ask you when you're writing a first draft. What do you want? What are you doing? What, what's going on with you? What are you trying to get to? You know? Um, you know? Basic questions like that. Th theme questions like, what does this mean? And, you know, what's the theme here? The, the, those questions are confusing to me, but they're very helpful to me. So always listen. I think it's always listening. Um, always. Because the structure will come from what the characters want, right? In my experience, yes. So. They're all they're doing things. They're all they're doing things. They're all doing things. I mean, sure, there's 
sit around and talk, they talk a lot. But they're also doing things, right? Actively engaged in things. Um, I mean, that's what's funny about him, since they're like, oh, doesn't really, can't really do anything. But he almost does a lot of things. He does a few things. He has a lot of great lines. Anybody else? I guess I have a question about letting go uh, of, yes. of a play. Right. Um, I guess the short answer is probably you just have to let go of a play. Um, I mean, when... So, written something... I, when I, when I guess when, when things go into production, I often have a lot of time problems like just letting go. Like right. something opens and I want to either spend all my time promoting it or obsessing over it or... And I find it difficult to focus on other projects. Right. Um, when it's open and running? When it's open and running, especially. But even in the lead up to it, you know, when it's like when the script should be really locked and frozen, um, when there's really nothing else I can do, but I'm going insane because I'm, you know, I, because as a playwright at some point you have to let go, right? Right. So it's just, it's, yeah. Grappling those feelings, battling those feelings, and figuring out how to um, allow myself to work on other work has been increasingly difficult. Right. So, I mean, I guess the short answer is just do it, but I was wondering if you could. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it like that. Well, I well, yeah, like that. but I mean. But yeah, just, uh, yeah, just go ahead and let go. Yeah, get over it. No, I mean, no, what, what it's interesting to me, what's interesting to me is. Um, when do you feel like you can start working on another work? At any point. No, but how oh. how soon after the opening and all that do you feel like now I can work or, or the closing? How when naturally or you know, do you feel like now I'm ready to work on something new? I don't know that I can discern a pattern. Um, do you have a plate running right now? Yeah. Okay, so you're and you're you're I'm like, I can't let it go. Yeah, pretty much. Well, okay, so what if, what I'm, what I'm going to say, what if we, you know, we are the makers of manners, Kate. You're not Kate, I'm not making your defense. But what if we were? And we are the makers of manners. So what if we said that maybe obsessing about your play while you're in production is normal and good and go ahead and obsess. And the, the whole thing about uh, of leaving Frozen is just so you don't drive your actors crazy <laughs> than they are already. So you're not slipping them new lines, you know, after the opening. You know what I mean? When you break the review and that joke, you know, Ben really, really like that joke, I'm gonna repeat it in the second act. You know what I'm saying? So that's just so you don't drive your people crazy -er, than they are already, because they're already crazy before you met them. But, so that, that's the whole frozen thing. It's funny, oh, I had it, this is a joke, okay? So, you know the musical, the little Disney thing? The yeah. big, enormous, frozen, and there's that song, Let It Go, isn't that funny? <laughs> anyway, um, so you can sing that song yourself and you can let your hair down and take off your cape and slink around like this. So let's say it's normal and natural and good to obsess about your play while it's running. Now, is there a problem? I just don't want it to stop me from doing, you know, other work. Just because it opens doesn't mean, so you can think, it's open, I've given birth to it. Now I'm going to just walk away from it. Right? But the thing is like, ah, ah, daddy, daddy, help. You know what I mean? No, it needs you around. I went to pretty much uh, every, not every day, but maybe every other day I was in the Hanging out with my actors. Why? Because it was fun. I was, like I was obsessing. I, I was enjoying myself, and I was enjoying the people who I worked so closely with for so many months. And I just sat back and watched the show on the monitor. It was fun. Told jokes, played cards in the green room. It's, fun. it's okay to obsess about your place for as long as you want. And if it's closed, and if it's published, and you're still obsessing about it. That's when maybe you're, you know, you can think about, okay, now maybe it's time to go. See me? Well, 
lot of times the problems we have are because there's, an inst there's a model of behavior that serves the institution or the producers, which is great, but it doesn't really have, it wasn't created with the writer in mind, it was created with the institution, and that's fine. We can make our own rules. Yeah, my question was actually about exposition. Yes. Um, would you agree that exposition is really only at the moment of necessity for the audience? And do you get that sense better through readings and so on and so forth? You mean exposition is really only necessary for the audience? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I understand. The. Uh, the exposition, basically re revealing any sort of exposition at the moment of necessity when the audience absolutely needs that information. And do you find that you're able to pinpoint those moments through readings and things oh, like I that? Oh, I see. So, exposition, where do you put the exposition? Where do you stuff it in like a turkey? You're going to cram it in. Yes. You know, it's, it's, I think the, easy, the, the easiest way to find out where it needs to be stuffed in or crammed in or, or sprinkled. It's great, and you don't even need an audience, which means you can save a lot of money. You can just do it by yourself in your room, in your you know, office or whatever. Where does a character need to say something? It's not that. It's character based. So if you attach it to a character need, then you're rarely off track. You see what I mean? Yes. So a character needs to remind you that, you know, on the mountainside, exposition. On the mountainside, I found a child and his, his ankles were, and I didn't know what to do, so we took him home. That's not because the audience needs to hear it. And yeah, they do, but who cares right now? The character needs to say it. He comes in and he just has something to say. Yeah, it works every time. And it's also then urgent. You get energy, and it's attached to the character's thing. What do you need? What do you want? More than anything. He wants to tell the story. He wants to explain how he found this child on the hillside. Blah blah blah. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a trick. And it's not a trick. This is what they do. What they do. What they've done so well. You, know? you look at any any Shakespeare, the Greeks, all of them. They're doing, and they have a lot of exposition. You think of um, in uh, what's that play where the lady she won herself? Phaedra. You know, the guy comes in and he's like, oh man, I just saw Poseidon in the shape of a monster come up out of the sea and get the guy off his chariot. Exposition. The audience isn't going, eh, man, it's exposition. Right? The character has a burning need to come in and talk about it. He just saw something amazing. It works. Oh, okay. 
murderers come. Yeah. Okay. You have the car on stage? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Do you have a title? No. Okay. So you start by having two characters in a place and they both want something. Very strong. She wants to go home and he wants to get away. That's, that's how I start sometimes. Sometimes I start with a title. But if you don't have a title, what good is it? To, you know, for me to tell you what I start to. So you'll be like, oh shit, I need a title. You don't really, unless, you know, you have one. And then it's good to hold on to. Exactly. You can hold on to your characters. That'll work. I think another thing is like, I have a storyline in my head, but it doesn't really have a form yet. So then I'm having a hard time. It but doesn't really work. I have a story that I, like, the storyline is almost complete in my head, but it doesn't like have a form yet. Like it's all here, but then it's not. You have a, a story in your head. Yes. But it doesn't have a form yet. Like I don't.
but sometimes the actors will come to you. Yeah, but sometimes the actors will come to you and say, can I save you?